Hey guys, in this video, let's discuss private endpoint in Azure function. So guys, we have Azure function app, which can be accessed from public internet. But what if we want our function, that is function app, to be accessible only from a particular VNet and not from public internet. And for that, we can use private endpoint. Now in this video, first we'll understand this private endpoint concept. So guys, we have function app and as of now, it can be accessed from public internet, right? So now we will create a private endpoint for our VNet and now we will cross check that we cannot call our function from public internet, but we will be able to call this function from a VM from this VNet, right? And now first let's understand this private endpoint concept. See guys, this is our function app and it has functions, right? So as on today, we can call this function from this public internet. So yes, it's allowed. But what if we don't want our function to be accessible from public internet, right? And it should be accessible only from this VNet. That is, it should be accessible from this VM within this VNet. So only this should be allowed. And for that, we have this private endpoint. See guys, basically, when we call our function from public internet, we call it our public IP. So again, this function app, it has this public IP, right? So obviously, first, we want to block such access over this public IP. And when we use private endpoint, what happens is this function app, see guys, this function app, it's like it gets extended within this VNet. And now we also have a private endpoint created in this VNet. See again guys, you can consider now this function app, it is as good as part of this VNet and we have this private endpoint as well. And of course this private endpoint, it will have now, it will now have private IP. So now this VM, it can call this function app through this private endpoint using this private IP. So again guys, we have now blocked this public IP. So this VM, it is also part of this VNet. So it also has private IP. So this VM, now it can call this function app through this private endpoint. So guys, we are in Azure. Let's open function app. And guys, this is our function app. So let's open it. Here, let's go down. And see we have two functions so let's open this function get products and now to test this function let's click on get function url let's copy this default function key and i will hit it and yes guys our function is working but more importantly we are able to call this function from our local laptop that is from public internet see guys this is my local laptop but of course, now we want to restrict such public access, right? So let's open our virtual network. So guys, I have created this VNet. Let's open it. And basically now we want to make sure that our function app should be accessible only from this virtual network. Now let's open virtual machines. And see guys, this is our VM and it is Windows VM. And if I open it, see guys, this VM, it is a part of this same virtual network. See this product service VNet and this is our same VNet, right? And one more thing guys, this function app, I have created it in Australia East region. This VNet is also in the same region. And then of course, this VM is also in the same region. And now we want such that this function app, see again this function as on today, it can be accessed from public internet. But now this function, it should be accessed only from this virtual network that is only from this virtual machine. So now let's first cross check if we can call this function from this VM. So let's connect to this VM and for this I will say connect, connect. 
will say download rdp and let's open our rdp file so basically now we are connecting to this vm will say connect will enter password say okay so yes so guys now we are in this vm and let's open browser and now let's see if we can call our function from this vm and obviously we should be able because as of now it's publicly accessible so let's just copy this url just to go here and say enter and yes it works and now obviously to block access from public internet let's create private endpoint so let's close this let's open our function app and guys in this function app on the left hand side let's go down settings networking and see this first it says public network access so it says enabled with no access restriction so obviously the first step we have to block such access and then it says zero private endpoints second step we will have to create private endpoint to allow access to this function from a particular virtual network so first thing let's block this public access so here i will say disable and i'll say save continue and now let's cross check so again again this is my local laptop that is this is public internet and here i will say refresh and yes it's not working and it says forbidden great and now obviously second step you have to create private endpoint so let's close this let's click on this private endpoints say add express let's give name so i will say private endpoint demo for function app now let's select virtual network and obviously it will be our product service virtual network let's select subnet and as of now i will say integrate with private zone i will say no and i will say okay and so private endpoint is getting created and it may take some time so let's wait so it's been created let's, let's close this and now let's see if we can call this function from our vm so here i will refresh again oh it says forbidden so we are not able to call this function app from this vm that is from virtual network even though we have created private endpoint so do you know why see guys we have blocked access from public internet that means we have blocked access for public ip but when this vm is trying to call this function app it is still trying to call it over public ip so how we can verify that this vm is trying to call this function app over its public ip so for that let's open command from again let's open command from in the same vm and here i will say ns lookup and let's copy this domain and let's paste it and let's say enter and see this it is trying to call it over this public ip see this is the public ip so obviously though this vm so though this vm it is in the same vnet for which we have created private endpoint but still this vm is trying to call this function app or public ip and obviously it's not going to work so ideally this vm should call this function app or a private ip right and for that we have to create private dns zone so i know you you might not be getting at this point but i will explain you when we create private private dns zone step by step why we need it okay so let's just go to our azure portal let's duplicate now let's click on home and here i will say private dns zones i'll say create See guys the most important thing we must create this private dns zone with this name that is azure websites.net and if you observe our function app url it is azure websites.net 
so again i know you might not be getting why we are creating with this exact name so i will explain step by step okay so here now i will say review plus create and now i will say create and now let's open it and guys now the most important thing see now we have to link this domain see this highlighted domain so we have to link this complete domain with the private ip of our virtual network so only after that this vm see again we are in this vm this vm it should be able to call this url that is this function app or private ip right so now we will have to copy this name under dns management let's click on this virtual network links so basically now we have to link our virtual network with this private dns zone so i will say add let's give name so i will say this let's select our virtual network and i will say create so first thing now we have linked this private dns zone with the virtual network and now guys important thing let's click on this record sets and now here we have to add that record for our function app and we have to link it with the private ip see guys again see this highlighted name so the, it is the name of our function app so let's copy it and i'll say add and see guys now this complete url it becomes product function 60 dot azure websites dot net see and hence we gave this azure websites dot net name to our private dns zone so when someone hits this link that is product func 60 dot azure websites dot net it will take it to the private ip which we are going to add over here and now as you can guess this private ip it should be the private ip of our private endpoint right so let's go to this private endpoint let's open it under settings dns configuration and see this this is the private ip of this private endpoint let's copy it and let's it let's add it over here so now what actually it means is when someone from within this virtual network see again we have linked our virtual network with this private dns zone so when someone with from within this virtual network tries to call this url take it to this private ip so i will say add now guys we may need to wait for few minutes for this change to get effect so let's wait okay guys and now let's try to call our function app again from our vm see as of now it was not working and here i will say refresh and yes it's working and so again we are back in our local laptop so if you try to call this url from public internet it will still not work so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening